Mo! Mo! Mo, Lauda, Mo! <laughs> Good afternoon everybody, Calm Biker here. Because I roamed around about the wrong way. Because I've got to. Just been on a ride down to Skegness. To see Skeggy Cruiser with the Yorkshire Biker. Just pulled in at Umberside Airport to uh, clean my visor really. Getting to a point where I couldn't see from all the flies. Yeah, I quite a good ride out that thing in front it's an R125 lovely looking machine same colour as this one they've stopped doing that colour on this bike it's a real shame they've gone for a weird glossy thing instead and it doesn't look as good as the matte I don't think anyway I stopped at the airport it reminded me of a little story and I don't think I've told it before so I thought I might uh, let you know it, although I might pause for a minute because it's going to be pretty boring looking at the back of these bike, uh, bikes, these back of these cars. So yeah, I was learning to fly. I've learned at Humberside Airport, which is quite entertaining. You're in and in and amongst all the uh, big planes. They get 737s and things like that that land at at uh, Humberside International Flights. It's quite often uh, when you were starting to learn they would say to you when you were coming into land they'd get you in a holding pattern they'd say just uh, hold there give you a place and you would just circle round and round waiting for one of the big planes to come past and land and then you'd wait for a couple of minutes and it'd be your turn to come in and land and then as you got a bit better and they started to know you more they uh, traffic control that says you're actually coming fast and uh, as soon as you land I want you to, to uh, stop come off at the first exit kind of thing and you come straight off and then you'd have a big thing coming in behind you and that would just get you out of the way quick they'd only do that once you'd learnt a bit more and they were confident you could get out of the way and not hold up you know one of the big aeroplanes Anyway, one day when I was learning to fly, I've got a fly in my eye now, very annoying. One day when I was learning to fly, it was the 11th of September. And a uh, very strange one. We came to the airport and uh, nothing had happened yet. I uh, went into the little hut where the club was. Had a chat, cup of tea, and then my instructor Andy said, uh, Right, off you go, go out to Golf Bravo Alpha Echo uniform, I think it was. Um, go out and check it out. So I went out and checked it out, made sure everything was working, nothing was, you know, nothing blocked, nothing looking damaged, all that kind of stuff. Um, and he said to me, When you get out to it, get fuel. Now to get fuel, where you park, I mean it might be changed now, but where you parked at the time was a grassy area. Uh, so to get fuel you would call for fuel and you would go out to a tarmac area, so you'd, you'd just taxi the plane around. Um, so I taxied the plane around to the tarmac area, got there just before the fuel bowser turned up, little truck with all the fuel on, and it turns up and uh, parks up alongside the aeroplane. Woman gets out, uh, gets a little step ladder out, pulls out a hose and says to me, I'm surprised you're going flying today. Do you know they've crashed an aeroplane into a building? And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's on the news. That's how I didn't really know. It. Now I had heard before on from the guy that I learned to fly with, or I was learning to fly with, two of us doing it at the same time, that there'd been a crash in America. Now we assumed at the time it would be, you know, a Cessna or something. And that, uh, say goodbye. 
a Cessna or something and somebody had lost control and hit a building. It's five years. The one says, well, no, no, it's, uh, it's bigger than that. And it was into the World Trade Center. I think, blimey. Anyway, she fills us up. My instructor comes across. And uh, I said to him, mate, did you know somebody's crashed an aeroplane into the World Trade Center? And he stood there looking at me as if waiting for a punchline, you know. Because he'd not heard about it on the news or anything. So, um... He didn't, he didn't believe me at first. Anyway, we got in the aeroplane, called for permission to take off, and off we went. We never actually asked for permission to take off, you know, I'd say that. But anyway, permission for departure and all that kind of stuff. So off we went. We went flying for a couple of hours, and we were practicing what happens when your radio fails. Oh, are you kidding me? So, on with the story. So we went up, we were practicing what happens when your radio fails. So, we got up, 10 minutes in, we turned our radio off. I went flying for a good couple of hours, and we were most of the time without a radio, practicing all sorts of different things. And uh, anyway, we came back, and as we were getting ready to ask to get a, the details for our approach to work out how we were going to join the pattern and all that kind of stuff, radio's back on, calling uh, to Humberside Air Traffic Control. Little plane there, look, that's the sort of thing I was flying. And they said, uh, yes, we want you to come in, land, do not do a go around, do not do not land and take off because normally what you do at the end of a lesson is you'd land and then once you're sure you're happy you've landed off you go again and you just go round and round four or five times just practicing landing really uh, but they said no don't do that come straight off park up and we come work out why they would want us to do that but anyway you, you never do anything other than what you're told by air traffic control so we landed Parked up and uh, headed back to the hut. And of course, when we got back to the hut, the news was on, and there were the pictures of these two aircraft crashing into the towers of the World Trade Center and destroying them both. And we'd been up there with our radios off, flying around after all of the airspace above Britain uh, had been closed and everybody had to get on the ground and uh, get out of the planes you weren't allowed to go flying anymore that was my little story that was the 9-11 uh, anyway it's not, it's not funny stories <laughs> no funniness, no laughing I'm afraid quite uh, Obviously quite a bad day for the world and looking back all the things that have happened since. Bad day for everyone, wasn't it? So I'll just say thank you for watching. Ride safe everyone. Hope you can hear me at this speed. And I'll talk to you all again soon.